Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Fifty Bird, and welcome to another episode of WWE Supercard. So, guys, we have um, the preview, guys, for the first ever PCC on um, the People's Champion Challenge. Um, if you guys do not know what the People's Champion Challenge is, even though you guys probably do, but we might have some new Supercard players out there, you never know. Um, Basically, it is a game mode that goes on for uh, roughly like four days or three and a half days, somewhere around that time period. And uh, it goes by rankings, and uh, you play for points, and if you fall into a certain uh, bracket um, for points, um, let's say you finish 76th in points um, in the world, you will get the PCC card, and you will get a legendary enhancement. Um, it is a little weird how enhancements are in PCC rewards now. Very, very weird. Mm -hmm. But, um, guys, it is Tegger vs. Lesnar. That, um, is really awesome. Um, I really like the look of this legendary Randy Orton card. That's one of my favorite looking cards in the game besides Seth Rollins, of course. Um, the Taker card looks cool. It's a long-haired Taker, so that's the first one in a while. And he actually has the Dead Man hat instead of the hood like he always freaking has anymore which i hate seeing cards of him like that um then the lesnar card uh looks typical actually that's a little bit of a cooler lesnar card i really like the black and the red design for the pcc cards um black and red go really good together um so let's look at the undercards uh rollins is on lesnar side guys so if lesnar wins um I'll be really excited because then I will definitely get an epic card. And guys, look how easy it is to uh, also, also, guys, before I say anything, top twenty one fifty people get um this PCC card. And everyone thought um they are splitting up the pro, um but they kept that he kind of switched the tables on everyone. Um, next week is ring domination, and that is how you will be able to pro this PCC card. So now I guess the pro is split up between PCC and Ring Domination. Um, I'm guessing the same thing will be like that for RTG. Um, you'll get a single RTG card. And then you'll get the pro next week with Ring Domination. I guess that's how it's going to go. That's really weird. I'm not a fan of that, but who knows. But um, basically, look at this, guys. They're giving everyone a free Epic card, basically. Um, if you finish in the top 31,000, like, come on now. All you have to get for top 31,000 is like 200 points. Not even that, probably. So, um, everyone's getting a free epic card, basically. That's a little weird. A little stupid, but who knows. Um, so, let's see that. Um, that's cool. I did not get any more good pulls, guys, that I have been playing. Um, not that much, actually. I mean, a little bit, but my work week started, and you all know I'm pr pretty busy at work this week. Um, so I am approaching 750 games played, which will get me a Super Rare Diva. But something cool actually happened. Um, it actually happened like a half hour ago. Um, I did pull uh, my first Super Rare forever, and it was a Diva. It was Summer Race. So that's cool um, that we pulled her. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I still have not pulled an Ultra Rare right now. I'm at 44 resets for my Ultra Rare. Um, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I got around a pro in my sting. Maxed him out. Stats aren't that bad. I maxed out my Undertaker. And I beat every ultra rare loyalty fusion card. I always beat every one. Except the rock. If it's pro correctly. Um, I think it's the fusion rock. That is the only card I cannot beat for ultra rare loyalty. So that sucks. Um, we got Rollins in there, of course. Um, sting. Uh, just working on my deck, basically. That is what's going on i'm training up uh, a lot of different cards um and right now guys i'm not even really focusing on king of the ring what i'm kind of doing is throwing some cards in there that i want to uh get some matches on because as you all know guys if you throw if you um for king of the ring if you let's say uh i i don't want to use the seth rollins in my exhibition team because he's really weak and he's going to lose me at a lot of games but to get these games played on the left, like for the stats, like I need 20 power matches, 20 toughness matches, 20 speed, 20 charisma. Um, I can throw him in King of the Ring, and when them matches are called, same with his ability, I, that goes on his thing um, for his card. So when it comes to actually training him up, and if I get a pro of him, it'll be a lot easier 
to uh, get his stats up fully. So that is awesome. That's a little tip for you all. And that's basically what I'm doing right now because I'm in super rare King of the Ring. Um, these rewards and whatnot don't really... Uh, I'm not really gunning for them. Same with these uh, Nikki Bella. I'm trying to pro this Nikki Bella because that's going to replace my super rare diva in my exhibition team. I'm going to improve it a little bit. So um, that's what I'm working on here. Um, it's hard to get a proc because their proc is only uh, 18%. So, I mean, they're not going to proc that much. But uh, if I can get most of their other matchups, it'll work out cool. And... Um, yeah, that's that. I haven't had any good pulls. PCC, whatever PCC. Uh, let's just do three exhibition games, guys, and then I will get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry for not recording a video the last couple days. Uh, I've just been really busy with work, basically. Um, that's basically what happened. And, oh, and I hope everyone saw Raw last night, because what do you know? I fell asleep literally like 20 minutes before Raw ended. And it was a crazy ending, I heard. Um, I watched a video. Uh, they were supposed to do some weird statue thing with Seth Rollins and revealing a statue. Because, of course, he beat John Cena at SummerSlam, like I told everyone he would. Um, but basically, uh, Stink came out, attacked uh, Seth Rollins, and then uh, held up the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. So it looks, I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, it's basically going to happen. There's no reason why Sting would attack with Seth Rollins. I'm just going to be Sting versus uh, Rollins at Night of Champions for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And if they do take the belt off Rollins for someone who's like 50 fucking 6 years old, that is going to be embarrassing. I really hope they don't take the belt off Rollins. From a smart standpoint, I don't, I hope they wouldn't take it off of him. From a smart business building a star standpoint, I hope they don't take it off of him. But I really do think a Sting vs. Uh, Rollins match would be really good. Um, I'm hoping Rollins would actually win clean. Uh, I loved him and seeing his match. Uh, I think it was one of my one of my favorite matches of the year. Um, it still doesn't beat the Reigns vs. Lesnar match. I think that's my personal match of the year. That's just personal opinion. But um, I think it would be a really good match. And... Uh, I would like watching it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we won that one. I don't know if that's our first or second game played, but we win it. So um, we'll just count that as our first. I was kind of rambling on there about wrestling. Alright guys, so we're going to play two more. And my win percentage just went way up. I don't know what like happened. I was like, when I got into Ultra Rare, I was losing games like crazy. Maybe it's because I didn't have my deck figured out and I didn't have it leveled up. And all that, but I was losing games like crazy. Like guys, literally, my winning percentage is like forty percent at one point. But um, now I'm like winning eight out of ten, nine out of ten. So that's awesome, uh, awesome, awesome stuff. Super rare, Daniel Bryan, I think. Was that that might have been the Survivor Daniel Bryan? I don't know it. It probably was. I have that card. I don't know why I'm even questioning it. <laughs> Um, and then power to 11. It's all good, though. We win. Uh, all right, I need to start getting some cards in my exhibition team that need matches done to them. That's what I need to get done soon. Uh, we're, I've got out of work really late the last two nights, so I really haven't had a lot of time to play. I've had like an hour or like a half hour to an hour to play, which basically is like 30 matches, 40 matches. Not that much. I really can't grind like I would like to. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we're facing Primey. And let's see, if guys, if we can go 3-0. 3-0 hype. Mm -mm. And boom, thank you. Uh, toughness. I'm going to use support just for the hell of it. Ah, the one time I use a support, I don't get it. Shit. All righty. Oh, shit. This might be a bad Ah, oh, sweet. I did not expect him to have an uncommon diva. What the world? That is weird. So I'm probably going to get my 750 uh, low ladder reward or whatever it's called. For the Super Rare Diva, I'm really hoping I get a Summer right. That would be awesome, guys, to get a freaking pro out of that. And there we go. We get another freaking enhancement. Damn it. But, guys, that probably wraps up today's video. I have a close to my first. 
Uh, guys, thank you all for watching, guys. Sorry for the delay of the hiatus. Um, just personal life caught up to me, guys. Work. I hope you you guys all understand, of course. I'm sure some of you are working or some of you guys just went back to school. They said America school just started in my area. But, um, guys, thank you all for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video, guys. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. Subscribe, guys, so uh, you guys can be notified whenever uh, I release a video, guys. And I'm Filthy Bird, guys, and I'm out of here. I will see you all later. You guys have a good night and a good day. And peace. Oh, I started a bad.